The default filter in Tableau doesn't have that many customization options. Using a multi-value parameter, we can create our own custom toggle filter like this. Since we'll be filtering by category, I'll create a parameter and call it category param. For the data type, I want it to be a string and I want to leave the current value empty. Then I'll create a calculated field and I'll call it toggle-select. In here, I'll type contains parentheses the category param comma the category. This calculated field will return true when it's selected and false when it's not. I'll create another calculated field and I'll call it toggle dash name. This first line I'm typing out checks if the parameter list already includes the category. If it does, then it replaces it with nothing. And if it doesn't, then it adds it to the list. So it's saying if the parameter list already includes the category, then remove it. Otherwise, add it. To build the structure, I'll type zero into the columns twice. And I'll add our category field to the rows. Under the first mark, I'm going to move toggle name and toggle select underneath. And I want to change this to a shape. The select field returns true or false based on whether it's selected or not. So I want the shape to be determined based on that field. Under our second mark, I'll drag in our toggle name field in our category, and I'll change category to a label. And we want only the value, so I'm gonna change the color to 0% with no border. And then I'll right click on one of our columns and I'll make it a dual axis. To get the positioning how you want it to be, you can mess around with the axes, but I found this custom positioning to work. So I'm gonna edit the axis and do a custom range between negative three and five. And then I'll edit the axis for the second one and give it a custom range between negative one and five. So now we can see our shapes to the left of our labels. For formatting, I'm going to get rid of the headers for everything. And we're not using colors for this, so I'm going to remove the measure name coloring. And then I'll format the worksheet to remove the row and column divider. I'll also get rid of the zero lines for the sheet and the grid lines for the columns. And now I'll bring this onto our dashboard. I'll hide the title for the worksheet and resize it. And I want this to fill up our entire view. To add the functionality, I'll go to the Dashboard tab at the top and hit Actions. And I'll add a parameter action. I'm going to call this Toggle Param. And for the source sheet, I just want the Toggle Worksheet checked off. And I'm going to target the Category Param using the toggle name as the source field. And now when I click on one of the circles, it changes to a square. This is because I just turned the software value from false to true. Using the shapes legend, I'll edit the shapes and I'll choose a palette that I've loaded, but I have another video for how to load shapes. For false, I'll choose the gray toggle and for true, I'll choose the green toggle. But now the toggles are super small, so I'm going to go back to the worksheet and increase the size using the size slider. Now when I click on one, it grays all the other ones out. So I'm going to go back to our worksheet and create a calculated field called true with the value true in it. I'll create another calculated field for false with the value false in it. And under the all marks, I'll drag these two fields in. Going back to the dashboard, I'll do dashboard actions again. And this time add a filter action. I'll call this toggle no high and only have toggle checked off for the source sheet. For the target sheet, I want to drop down and choose the toggle worksheet. 
I want the action to run on selecting it, and I want to show all values when the selection is cleared. For the selected fields, I'll do the source field as true, and the target field as false. And now we can interact with it without having any highlighting. But it's not filtering the chart yet. So I'll go to the worksheet with our chart on it and drag in the toggle select field to the filters. And I'll set this to true. And now we have a custom toggle filter that allows us to filter on any chart. 